Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a look at a recently released study on the genetic origins of the Old Kingdom Egyptians. Before I proceed, I just like to say that this study is a blow to Afrocentrists and Afrocentrism as the findings are very interesting and point to an origin point for the Egyptians in the Levant and not in Sub-Saharan Africa. What this means is that the ancient Egyptians were not black or sub-Saharan Africans but rather were descended from a population of Middle Eastern genetic origins which is quite interesting. Specifically, the Old Kingdom Egyptians are the closest to the Levantine Natufian farmers. And these Old Kingdom Egyptians had negligible to no sub-Saharan African ancestry. Now without further ado, I'd like to begin the analysis. The study in question is a thesis titled Reconstructing Past Human Genetic Variation with Ancient DNA Case Studies from Ancient Egypt and Medieval Europe. It is worth mentioning that while a portion of this study was on medieval European genetics, nonetheless, a significant part of it was on ancient Egypt and this is what the focus of this video will be on. To begin, the focus of this study was on the Old Kingdom and this is the period in which the pyramids of Giza were constructed. And as you can see, there were foreign migrations to Egypt as the states, primarily from the Canaanites, the Libyans, the Cushites, as well as the Persians. But nonetheless, all of these peoples left a very negligible genetic impact on the genome of the Egyptians as these periods of foreign control did not result in a detectable migration of people. And this is the critical point here. Though Egypt was also ruled later by other foreigners such as the Greeks, the Romans and the Arabs. The Old Kingdom sample featured in this study was from the site of Neurad in central Egypt. The haplogroup this sample belonged to was E1B1B1B and this is interesting considering that this haplogroup is associated with Berber and Western Desert Egyptian populations. Thus the haplogroup this Old Kingdom Egyptian belonged to was very much indigenous to North Africa and Egypt and was not of sub-Saharan African origin. And as further evidence of this, a sister haplogroup was found amongst the Canary Island Guanche population which was largely wiped out during the early modern period by the Spanish conquests of the islands. Here is a PCA and you can see that the Neurat samples were very closely related to other Levantine populations and this is quite interesting and this just goes to show that the ancient Egyptians were a population largely descended from the Levantine Natufians. And the Neurat population was also closer to Natufians and other West Asians and Middle Easterners as opposed to Sub-Saharan admixed East African populations such as the Sudanese from the Christian period and this is also very interesting. Once analyzing the Neurat sample utilizing admixture which is an autosomal ancestry tool around 90% of its ancestry came from a Levant Natufian source with only 10% being closely related to a Sub-Saharan African source. And this is less than the Sub-Saharan African ancestry found in contemporary Egyptians which is at 25%. Though I reckon this figure is a bit high nonetheless it is present and the average that I've come across based on my calculations is around 10 to 15%. Here are the admixture results for the Neurat samples including others and what's evident is that the Sub-Saharan African ancestry is very minimal and it's in maroon here and I have highlighted the Neurat sample in red and what's more is that the Levantine ancestry is very high and shown here in a yellowish shade and finally there's only minimal Iranian farmer ancestry which is at the very top and it's probably less than 3-4% so overall the majority of the ancestry of the Neurat sample is of Levantine origins. Specifically the Neurat sample descends from the Levantine Natufians. Moving on, here are the results for Middle Eastern, North African and Caucasian populations and as you can clearly see, the contemporary Egyptians which I've highlighted in red are primarily of Levantine ancestry though nonetheless they have more Iranian farmer as well as more Sub-Saharan African ancestry than the Neurat sample. What this means is that the contemporary Egyptians actually have more Sub-Saharan African ancestry in comparison to the ancient Neurat sample. And I reckon this is due to admixture with sub-Saharan African populations during the Islamic period, particularly because of the Arab and Ottoman slave trades. 
here are the F3 distances for the Neurad sample as well as for the previously sequenced third intermediate period Egyptian sample. Then you can see for the Neurad sample, the closest populations are the Lamuan Natufians, then heavily Natufian shifted populations from Turkey, followed by the third intermediate period Egyptian, and then Levant populations, and then a few Calcolithic and Mesolithic Iranian populations, and the rest are primarily other West Asian populations from the ancient period. Thus, it seems to be the case that the Old Kingdom Egyptians were primarily of Middle Eastern descent and closely related to other Middle Eastern and West Asian populations, which is quite interesting. Here is a summary of the F3 results and what was found is that there is relative affinity between the Neurad sample and the Levant Natufians and basically the Neurad sample is most similar to Levantine population dated from the Paleolithic to the Bronze Age. Conversely, the third intermediate period genomes are more similar to Levantine Neolithic, closely followed by early Bronze Age individuals from Turkey and Anatolian populations overall, and also that the third intermediate period Egyptians do not appear to share much genetic similarity with the Neurad sample. Thus, the Old Kingdom Egyptians have yet again been proven to be of Levant Natufian descent. Also, as previously mentioned, once utilizing QPADM, which is a much more scientifically accurate genetic tool, you can see that the Neurad sample does not have any sub-Saharan African ancestry as it cannot be modeled as a mixture of Levant Natufian and East Africa's late Stone Age ancestries. And this is also the case for the two third intermediate period Egyptian samples that were previously sequenced. Thus, these results refute the claims made by Afrocentrists that the ancient Egyptians were of sub-Saharan African origins as even the ancient Egyptians from the Old Kingdom had no sub-Saharan African ancestry. While there is not much similarity between the Old Kingdom Neurat sample and the third intermediate period samples, as according to F3 statistics, nonetheless the study did successfully model the third intermediate period sample utilizing the Old Kingdom sample. And according to the results, the third intermediate period Egyptians derived 16.3% of their ancestry from early Bronze Age individuals from the Levant and 83.7% ancestry from the Neurat sample. Or another model suggested that they derived 6.1% of their ancestry from early Bronze Age individuals from Turkey and 83.7% from the Neurat sample. And these results are considered acceptable despite contrasting with the F3 statistics. And as previously mentioned, all of the ancestral methods which have been utilized to assess the origins of the Neurat sample have proven that he derived the majority of his ancestry from Levant Natufians. For this reason, it is correct to say that the ancient Egyptians from the Old Kingdom were primarily of Api Paleolithic Levantine descent. And thus, they have no relations to ancient or modern Sub-Saharan Africans. And the QPADM findings prove that there is no sub-Saharan African ancestry in the Neurat sample and this is in contrast to the Neolithic Moroccan samples which did have a bit but nonetheless even then it was minimal but in the case of the ancient Egyptians they had none of this ancestry. Thus, with these results in mind, Afrocentrists such as Mr. Imhotep have been refuted in their claims that the ancient Egyptians were black or sub-Saharan Africans. To conclude, this analysis took a look at a recent study on the genetic origins of Old Kingdom Egyptians and it was proven that they were primarily of Natufian descent and did not harbor any affinities towards Sub-Saharan Africans. The autosomal results presented in this analysis were done utilizing different genetic softwares and calculators such as Admixture and QPADM, which means that the margin for error here was very low. And the results presented very much proved that the ancient Egyptians were a Middle Eastern population and not a Sub-Saharan African population. That is essentially it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.